Chapter 12, the gro uh, growth of the Chinese Empire. Major concepts, please have your note cards out um, so you can take notes and study for the test. First question is, is how does Chinese society and territory and society reunify? Uh, first, physical defense. Great Wall of China was built, unified them. Second is government organization. You had central government, educated bureaucracy, and civil service. Uh, it was also unified through laws, uniform legal code. It was also unified by weights and measures. You had a uniform set of weights and measures across the entire country. It was unified by a written language across the entire country. And it was unified by a uniform code, uh, coins, meaning that the currency was the same no matter where in the country. Uh, seventh, you had transportation was uh, the same. They had the strand length of axle for wheels so that the people could travel and trade faster. You had also, unfortunately, a control of ideas. It was banned criticism of the government, and uh, sometimes books were burned as well. So those are the kind of eight things that unified Chinese to territory and society. The next question is the achievements of the Han Dynasty. In arts, you have printing, sculpture, poetry. The Bureau of Music was formed. You had garden design, calligraphy, uh, and uh, famous. they were very famous for the lacquerware as well. In sciences, there's... Han achieved the calculated length of the solar year. They recorded the ellipses of the sun and moon. They developed acupuncture uh, as medicine. Um, in inventions, they invented the seismograph, the wheelbarrow, paper, magnetic compass. And they also had an achievement. They established the Silk Road. Um, so the Han Dynasty had many different uh, achievements. We have two more note cards. The first is you need to analyze the geographic, political, economic, religious, and social structures of the early civilizations in China. Uh, first, in, ge in the geographic sense, the Chinese, uh, the Chinese civilizations were isolated from the outside world. They developed a unique culture because of mountains, deserts, and oceans, much like the um, ancient Indians. Uh, in the political realm, they had dynasties, um, they had an educated bu uh, bureaucracy based on Confucius ideas, and they were governed by this idea of the mandate of heaven. In the economic uh, realm, they established a Silk Road that was based on farming, um, iron production, salt mine were also in the religious realm. You had Confucianism, Taoism, and Buddhism. This is the three ways. In social structure, you had Confucius, five relationships, nobles, and commerce. The final note card is students will evaluate the factors that shape civilization. Time. So, what kind of things shaped civilization? Time? We're going to look at primarily. Uh, we can apply this to all the civilizations we studied. We're going to apply this to the Chinese civilization. Uh, in geographic, uh, you had geographic features that shaped Chinese civilization. Mountains, deserts, oceans, isolated China from other cultures. Rivers provide transport and agriculture. Political features that shaped Chinese civilization were government um, and the civil service and merit system. The, four, uh, the third factor that shaped civil the Chinese civilization was ideas and innovation. You had religion, um, ancestor worship, legalism, Confucianism, Taoism, Buddhism. Uh, and then you had innovations, acupuncture, magnetic compass, seismograph, wheelbarrow, and paper. These all influenced and shaped Chinese civilization. And the first feature is cultural features that shaped Chinese civilization. Family, the foundation of Chinese society. Education, focus on Confucius thought. And then language, they had a single written language, a lot of democracy across languages.